Hey. What's up? How are you? Good. Oh, that's so good. I'm, I'm, um, I'm good. It's pretty early where I am. Oh. It's pretty early in the morning. Me too. Where, what part are you from? I'm from Idaho. Oh, people call, people say I'm the ho. I'm from Idaho though. That's where, that's the state I come from. Oh, I, I come a lot from Utah. Do you know a uh, family by Chip and Becky Page by those two names? I do. They're my cousins on my dad's side. Oh my gosh. I'm, I literally am neighbors with them. Just tell them Corbin says hi next time oh, you see them. I will definitely say Corbin says hi. Um, but yeah, what do you do on TikTok? Just about everything. I post just about everything, you know? Yeah. How old are you? I am 25. I'm 23. <laughs> <laughs> are you single? Um, depends on how you view me. I mean, I, I date multiple women. Yes. But, uh, at the same time. Yeah. Like, I mean, what do you, like in person or online? Both. <laughs> so like, what's the farthest base you've been to? I've been to third base. I've only been to second base twice. Oh, well, like technically kiss. three times. Like a kiss. Something like that. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I'm single and I'm looking for someone special. Well, if you want, I can be that for you. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I would love that. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm up for a good time. Me too. Um, so you're saying you want some of this Linda Bendussi? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your, what's your, um, uh, sorry, I'm getting a little flustered. It's all right. I, I, I don't, don't normally talk to hot guys. <laughs> I mean, I've been told I'm ugly, but you know what? I just don't give a crap no matter what, you know? Well, I, um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Exactly. And right now, I'm the beholder. Mm -hmm. I um, I grew up here in Idaho. I live in Nampa, Nampa, Idaho. And Chip and Becky Page are my cousins on my dad's side. They are my dad's cousins. Cute. Does your do your cousins know that you're such a um a hot person and you have like a lot of girlfriends? Something like well, not really. Trip and Becky don't know that yet. But sooner or later they're gonna find out. Maybe we can break I know Chip story. would probably smack me upside the head if he heard I have multiple girlfriends. Knowing Chip, he'd whack me upside the head hard. <laughs> I know, right? He's so funny. Um, yeah, he's he's my cousin on my dad's side, so. Yeah. Well, I, I want you to follow me so we can go live and we can be boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. So what's like, hmm? what's your favorite part of a woman? Every part of them, I guess. Like, what's your favorite part? Like, if you could, like, if you could, ha if you had to choose, what would you say? Um, and you, you can choose one and I'll show, I'll show it to you. Uh, I doubt that it would be very appropriate if I named the say part it, of the body. Of the woman or like, all right. Um, I don't know if this will be looked out upon by TikTok as a very good thing, but I do prefer a woman with a nice pair of tits and a night a nice tight pussy. That's all I'm gonna say. 
Oh, well, you know, you have that right in front of you right here. Yeah. I'm just chewing on some watermelon flavored gum right now, trying to keep my jaw from clamping up. Because I sometimes grit my teeth. Like, I literally just clench my jaw whenever I'm playing video games and I have to focus on a part. I literally clench my jaw, so I have to chew, but I have to chew some gum to keep my jaw from clenching up. Maybe you can just chew on this coochie. <laughs> Do you have guns in real life? No. Well, technically, I have an airsoft pistol and a uh, BB gun. Oh. I want to show you something real quick. Okay. What would you rate it out of 10? <laughs> I'd rate it a 9 out of 10. Oh, wow. I think people up in Canada are just a bunch of pussies. Because they, um, they're way too nice for their own good. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Wow. I totally agree. Um, someone in my comments wants to know if you're a munch. What do you, what do they mean by that? Um, well, they said it like, it's a, a munch is a guy that gets on like, um, their knees and like eats the coochie. I'm um, something like that. Yeah. So you are a munch. Something like that, yeah. And, sorry, gum ran out of flavor. Fuck. I hate when that happens. Some, I can add some more to that. Yeah. Would you have a place I'm for me to stay if I went up there? Well, I'm from a small town called Melba. I'm from a small farming community. About 150 people or so. And, well, I would let you stay with me if you did come up here. I would let you stay at my Aww. place. Can I sleep in I live in an bed? apartment. I live in a townhouse apartment. If you've noticed the background around me, this is actually where I live. And I'm sitting in my rocking chair while looking through my game pass really quick, just looking for something to download, something to fill in the app, the empty spaces. You can but, fill in uh, my empty spaces. <laughs> I know. But out here in Idaho, things get really busy out here during the 4th, during July. Yeah, wow. Do you, like, celebrate the 4th of July? Yes, me and my family do. I'm from a family of 10. Oh, really? I would never have guessed that. There are nine others, plus me equals 10, so... Are you, like, the youngest or oldest? Youngest boy in the family. I'm the youngest male. My sister's the youngest, youngest. My little sister, Kayla. Aw, that's so nice. Yeah, I have, I have four brothers, five sisters. Oh, wow. And trust me, my sisters are all a pain in the butt, but I love them regardless. This is me earlier today. I put on this outfit just for you. <laughs> it's cute. Thank you. You're cute. Thanks. You're cute. I'm, yeah, I'm wearing my pendant. It's a dragon wrapped around a sword. Wow. I got this from my sister one year. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. It was a birthday present. Oh, someone wants to know how big it is. What, this? <laughs> Shit, yeah. Eh, it's a few, it's like, it's like this. Hold oh. on, let me, let me take it off for a minute. Yeah, take it all off. I mean, I know, I know, you want to see me like that, but not not here. Do you have Facebook? Yeah, I do. As you can tell, I live in a townhouse. Yep, I can tell. Oh my gosh. Wait, what will we do on Facebook? I usually just chat with people that I know and friends and family. Mostly just friends, though. I hang out with... I hang out with a... I ran with a group of hackers back in Melba when I was young, when I was in high school. I ran with a group of hackers. 
I'm telling the truth. I used to run with a group of hackers. Oh, wow. It was fun while it lasted, too. When our uh, boss man graduated and moved on to greener pastures, he left me in charge. And my friend Skylar at the time, who was my then rival, usurped power from me and took over. Wow, that's like Game of Thrones. Yeah, well, the Nerd Brigade is what we called ourselves back then. We called ourselves the Nerd Brigade because we were just a bunch of computer nerds. And um, the thing is, back then we were run. We we got paid a lot back then, but then after then after our boss man moved on and handed the reins to me, my best friend Skyler stole the power out from under me. He usurped me and basically took over and turned the whole guild that we called ourselves a guild back then, the whole guild into a group of punks. Oh, wow. So what, do you, what do you do now? Uh, this and that. I dabble here and there. I'm not really sure what I do. I usually just, I basically study things that are not known to humans, like the paranormal world around us and uh, the multiverse so to speak. Oh my gosh, this one time I was lying in bed and like my legs started shaking like so much. And um, I think something was happening to my cooter. Um, and so like, basically I think a ghost like was a munch on me. I mean, there's, that's a poltergeist you're thinking of. That's a poltergeist. You know, poltergeist and yes, there are me. tons of them. Can a poltergeist, a poltergeist make me shake and twi quiver? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, they can because they can interact with the physical realm. The realm we call physicality or reality itself. They can shift it and basically intertwine themselves within reality. Yeah, he really, the poltergeist really entwined himself into my reality, if you know what I mean. I know. And trust me, I've... I actually did a first time when I made, I actually did my first ever exorcism in our house because we had this angry male spirit, one that was really stupid and kept causing shit to go down in the house. So I exorcised him. I flipped open my Book of Mormon and read a certain passage in DNC, Doctrine and Covenants, and basically banished him from our house, sent him to the underworld where he could be judged. Oh my gosh, you're so talented. I know. I have a gift. Most people say I have a gift. The Book of Mormon, right? Yeah, I'm gifted. I have a I have a history with Mormons. I'm gifted. They've so, came inside me multiple times spiritually. Yeah. I'm I'm multifaceted, meaning I can understand in realities, you know, I can how can I just what I'm saying is I can understand and react and also interact with the physical and spiritual realm i think that's so cool i think um like if you were ever a ghost and um i was still alive would you try to be like a poltergeist and try to um be a munch on me and when i'm laying in bed in the nude um depending on the situation my mom was a bitch anyway oh <laughs> She was controlling. My mother was controlling. That's all I'm going to say. That's why I said she's a bitch is because she was controlling. She tried to control me and a bunch of others that I, I was her favorite child because I was her sweet little angel. Boy, am I glad that woman's finally dead like and gone because she's in a way better place than here. <laughs> yeah. You don't look like a sweet little angel to me. You look like you can like, you know, beat this coochie up. <laughs> You for, I, how can I say this? I'm a, I'm a hybrid between vampire and werewolf. I'm a hybrid of yeah. both. Yeah. Um, I was born with both halves. My dad's a vampire. My blood dad's a vampire. My blood mom's a werewolf. Meaning I wound up with both their powers. So. I don't Sucks to be me. I'm a mermaid. I could tell when I first got on with you, my skin started to itch. That's the one thing about us magical creatures. When we actually interact with others of our kind, we get itchy. 
it's kind oh of a gosh. location device. It's kind of like my a locating shoulder, ability. My shoulder was just getting itchy when I first met you. I was itching right here. Yeah. I usually get itchy around my neck. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Wait, so what do you want me to do on Facebook with you? Just chat and just hang out with me, you know, send me whatever you're comfortable sending me. Any photos or whatever. Wow. One of the other girls that I dated sending me a tit pic and it made me feel kind of happy. But when Abby sent me hers, I literally just, I literally went, nope. Like in my brain, I just randomly turned off my censorship and just started like talking dirty to her. And she's like, honey, my mom and dad and everybody in my family hate you. I'm like, okay, whatever. So like it's whatever, what? it feels like a thousand hot needles are poking my skin. Oh my gosh. Are you into that type of stuff? Not really. I'm not into BDSM. Sorry. I'm not. Well, don't worry. I'm not I'm the kind of guy into that. Me either. So what are you into? Uh, I'm into a lot of things, but yeah, mostly I'm, I'm, like, I'm just, I just want to know more about you. You're so interesting. Yeah. So am I, I'm an open book. You can, you can ask me anything. Yeah. So what are you into if you're not into that? Um, I'm into multiple things, but mostly I'm just, I'm kind of the guy who basically doesn't want to be that one guy where he's awkward in a conversation. I mean, I'm basically a giant fucking kid at times. Same too. I just love playing with uh, like balls on the floor. Yeah. I, um, I've lived with a lot of different things, you know, and I can, in my line of work, being, being a hacker in my line of work, me and the group of hackers that I ran with back in the day, we're planning on resurfacing, basically taking our, taking our stand in the world. But I'm not sure if I'm wanting to continue that life because if I continue that life, I'm going to constantly be on the run and I will never have to be, you know, I would never, ever be able to settle down in one place. Don't do that because I want to, I want to be with you forever. And I don't, I don't want to have, I don't want you to be on the run. Yeah. Once the, guild has got its new footing i'm gonna tell the others who i ran with i'm gonna tell them i'm retiring i'll stay on as an advisor but after that i'm done um and i'm training my sister cheyenne to take my place she's my protege my replacement oh wow I, that's so cool I, I i i think you're so interesting and i think that we'd make such a good a good match yeah um do you want to know anything so, anything about me or my fantasies sure i mean ask away i'm open book as deep and personal so as i'm gonna ask you this because this may sound a little weird to be asking but uh what video games are you into um i love like puzzles i'm a i'm a very big puzzle girl i love puzzling um wait you would love Jedi Fallen Order, then, if you're into parkour puzzle games, you'd love, you'd love that one. Tell me about your ideal date. If you had to take me on a date, what would you do to me? I mean, with me. <laughs> you're funny. You're funny Thanks. and cute. So I'd probably take you somewhere nice, probably take you up to Golden Corral from my place. Because I live up, I live down the street from a Golden Corral, I just have to walk. It's like a 15 minute walk up to there from my house. Okay, so we would, we would walk to Golden Corral and then what would we do after? Uh, depends on what you want to do. It depends on what you want to do, Daddy. Yeah, and you can decide what we do afterward. If I were to take you out to eat somewhere, you can decide what we do after. Maybe you can have some dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I catch your meaning, honey. I do. I do. And if you've noticed how when I'm literally turned on, you can tell just by my eyes because my eyes start glowing, start glowing a little. Oh, wow. You can Me tell too. by my eyes. So are you, are you feeling um, this connection too? Yeah. My eye 
though, and I'm really pissed off though, my eyes will glow a ghostly pale blue when I'm pissed off. Like, when I'm really angry. My eyes will literally glow a ghostly blue. Someone wants to know, what are your kinks? K-I-N-K-S. I don't know. Oh. Um. Because I want to mold my existence around you so you can like me 100%. Yeah. It's just, I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty easy to read, you know? Yeah. But what are they? Like, you want to list them off? Well, my only, my kink is when you talk dirty to me and when, you know, how can I say this? I'm more of a guy who's just go with the flow type of guy. That's what's, that's what I'm into. It's just going with the flow, you know, not fighting, not fighting the current, you know, being the guy who goes with the flow. I don't get it, but like, say it like, I mean, I don't know, just like, what are your other ones? Well, one of my other turn ons, and this is just me talking. One of my other turn ons is just when a woman actually so i like sucking on tits mostly so if a woman likes that sort of thing then i'll do it yeah you know i do yeah my sister cheyenne trained me in combat though i what do you mean my sister cheyenne trained me in combat i'm a combat specialist so you you said that you sucked on your sister's no, that was a, that, I don't do that to my family. I'm not into that. I'm not that sweet home Alabama bullshitter, you know? I'm not that kind of guy. <sighs> Me either. Um, so, like, do you act in, on any of your werewolf or vampire stuff, like, in a relationship? If, like, like, if you want, I'm, I can transfer my powers depending on, I can pass up my powers through a bite or a piece of my DNA. Uh, who have you bit? No one yet. So how do you know that you can you can transfer through biting? Well, I can use my blood to bring inanimate objects to life and give them their own personality. Okay. Are you a com? Do you like combat or are you kind of a uh, pacifist? I thought you said, "Do I like um um combat?" Mm. I I do like combat. I think. You know, a woman has to defend herself, right? Exactly. Um, I prefer combat specialists because I'm a combat specialist. I prefer I prefer to trust my people that I gain trust with. I prefer to test their mettle in combat. Can I have some gum you could chew on? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I... I watch a lot of different shows online and shit. If you were to come to Idaho, I would, I'd basically take you on a tour of what, of the town I live in. I'd take you on a tour. Just as long as we take breaks from, because if we walk around Idaho and all around Nampa, my legs will give out on me quickly. Because I'm not, I have, I'm, kind of have a lot of weight on my body, but I've been losing weight over time, you know? I think, I think so that, um, hard. I think that, you know, in the bedroom we'll have like a lot of practice with, you know, standing for long periods of times. Yeah. Plus I can, I can attack and defend from a distance depending on the target. Have you ever, like, used your powers on someone? Well, I did take my true form in front of one of my ex-girlfriends, causing oh, wow. her to freak out and hold up a cross. Yeah, um, like, whenever I get in water, like, my gentleman callers have always said that I have a WAP, like a wet, uh, a wet, you know what that is? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And you know, that's part of being a mermaid. You know, you, you, you have like a lot of, a lot of WAP. Yeah. As a werewolf and a vampire, my true form is called a vampire werewolf Lord. I'm basically what you call an anti-hero. 
I love that song. A lot of these guys are starting to get a little pervy. A lot of the guys I'm that are on the live, they're getting really pervy what right now. I'm like, what the fuck? What are they saying? Answer their questions. I don't know. I'm, but I've lived in Idaho my whole life. I've only been to Utah once, and that was a long time ago. Yes, dude. Yes, Duck Rised or whatever the fuck you, however the fuck you say your name. What Jesus Christ. What was the question? Oh, it's nothing. No, say it. I want to hear. I'd rather not. Please, Danny. It's a little inappropriate. Well, you know, we're all having a good time here, so. Yeah, he's like, Jupiter, are you going to get something? I'm like, I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you're going to get something? I'm like, I'm working on it. Damn. <laughs> Calm down, bro. I, I mean, I'm, I'm really easy. I'll give it up on a platter. Yeah. As for me, I'm more guarded than anyone else in my life. I'm way more guarded. Yeah. I get it. Someone asked for a fit check. They want to see what your outfit is. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, there we go. I just need to set this here really quick. Now back up. I'm wearing a tank top with some PJs, some PJ bottoms. Oh, wow. Yeah. I good. know that thing is thinking. Yeah. Also, my aviators. Yeah. Yeah, wow, you're making me really juicy right now. <laughs> I know. I have that effect on women. I really do. I'm yeah. also a martial artist. Someone asked, someone said you have a twin size bed. How are we going to fit on it and do the thing? Oh, uh, this? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I... Since I lost a lot of weight, I could fit two people easily. Well, and oh, never mind. We can do it like you know, in anywhere in the in the sky, in the in the on the floor. I mean, everywhere in this room. I mean, like, what what would be your ideal place to do it? Everywhere in the room. Doesn't matter where. Even on the toilet. Yep. Which reminds me, since I have the master bedroom, I have my own bathroom. Oh, wow. Wow. I have the master bedroom in my room. Do you have a lot of fun the in there? Bedroom's mine. Yeah, I you know, I, I feel you. I I a few weeks ago I lived at a nursing home. I could tell. I would really recommend coming up here to Idaho, though, to be honest. Will I, like, find something I, I, like I'm looking for there? Well, it depends on what you're looking for, depending on your perspective. I'm not very big down there, but I can still provide some satisfactory. That's fine. Yeah. And... To be honest, my sisters and I studied ninjutsu growing up. Me and my sibs, we all studied ninjutsu. How come every time I ask you about like, like my desires, you bring up your sisters? Oh, no, no, it's, it's, sorry, I have that bad habit of not, like my, how this is, I have a short attention span. So, sorry. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever to satisfy someone. This one chick who I dated back in high school, Paige Hoagland, know what she did after I fucked her? What? Pressed rape charges on me. Yeah. She fucking pressed rape charges against me. 
After that, she went to the police and said, I raped her due to my little sister telling her to do it. Yeah, she's a little bitch, but I still love her. She's my little sister, after all. I can't hate. I can't live without her. And I can't shoot her. The woman was too stunned to speak. I can't live without my siblings, and I can't shoot them. Well, Jupiter, um, I'm I'm totally going to message you later. Um, it was nice talking to you. I have to go and like, wipe these tears off my face. Hey, it's all right. I'm here. Mm -hmm. You can stay on it. You can just go and freshen up a bit. I wouldn't mind. You can leave the, you can leave your device playing and you can go freshen up. I could tell you're wearing makeup because I could see little tear stains going down your cheeks. Yeah, you just have an inspiring story. Yeah, I came from someone who was nothing and came into something else, you know? You can come into me. Yeah. I mean, if you want, after, after this, we can talk on Facebook and I can take a shower for you because that's what I was planning on doing tonight this early morning anyway. What do you mean take a shower? Like, well, since, you know, since I have the master bedroom and everything, I sometimes let the women I'm close to watch me shower if I'm like in a relationship with them. So what do you do in the shower? Just, you know, wash up, freshen up, you know, that sort of thing. Well, um, I'll talk to you later, Jupiter. It's nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. He's a vampire werewolf hybrid that likes to investigate the paranormal. And also he likes to take showers and film it for his girlfriend. And also he, he likes to, um, um, <laughs> sister stuff and uh, cosplays. <sighs> that was a whole fucking movie. I'm so freaking, I just need, I just need to sleep now. Um. It felt so nice finally being seen as the mermaid I am. <laughs> you know, I was a little bit in heat. I was a little bit in heat. I don't want the shower video. I'm good. I'm very good. I don't want to see the flaps. I don't know what to do anymore. I feel like I'm done. I feel like my TikTok career is over now. You found someone better, someone hotter, someone greasier, someone that takes a shower once a week and live streams it for his girlfriends. And I'm like, was he a character? People always think I'm a character, which I'm not, but is, was he a character? And I don't think so. I think that's just him. And if you want to watch this back, I'll be posting the video to my YouTube channel. And you can watch it again. You can stream it. You can um, take it to therapy with you. I know I'll be taking it to therapy with me. I think I want to go to sleep. He had a brown stain in his bed. <laughs>